the NSA has a very important message to developers and programmers, and we all should listen. They want you to change your programming language. All right, so now this is interesting because we always hear about what's the best programming language you should learn. And we see a bunch of top 10 lists. And the programming languages on those lists have been there for a while. And the reason is because of wide adoption and usage within the commercial space. But the NSA has a list of languages that it's recommending you do not use. And they also provide a list of languages they consider best to use. Now, why would the NSA be recommending a programming language or a list of languages? Or why would they be trying to urge programmers to stay away from some? It all comes down to memory. There's some languages that focus focus on memory safety and others that don't. Some languages provide a level of flexibility to the programmer to decide how to deal with memory allocation, while others take on the responsibility of memory management for you. All right, so what languages does the NSA recommend you do not use or recommend that you start implementing a new language to replace that one? Now, the languages that I'm gonna mention can be surprising because they're two very popular languages. There's a lot of software and applications coded in these programming languages, and that's C and C++. These two languages provide a lot of freedom and flexibility in memory management. And that sounds good, but it relies heavily on the programmers writing and maintaining the code to do the right thing and perform the needed checks on memory references. Now, why can this be an issue? Well, think about it. When you're working in a corporate environment or if you're trying to get a product ready to ship, there's often a huge focus on the user experience, the user interface, and the functionality of your software. And sadly, security tends to be an afterthought. And over the years, we've seen what's happened when security is an afterthought. Some of the issues are buffer overflows, memory allocation issues, and race conditions. All right, so what's the list of languages the NSA does recommend you consider using? All right, so the first one is C Sharp. C Sharp is a programming language developed by Microsoft that runs the .NET framework. It's used to develop web apps, desktop apps, mobile apps, games, and more. The next language on the list is Go. Go was developed by Google engineers to create dependable and efficient software. It's modeled after the C language and takes a lot of inspiration from the Python language also. The next language is Java. Java is a programming language and computing platform first released by Sun Microsystems. It's evolved from humble beginnings to power a large share of today's digital world. And then we have Ruby. Ruby is a dynamic open source programming language with a focus on simplicity and productivity. And now the next language is Rust. And what's interesting about this one is a lot of surveys indicate that developers really enjoy using Rust. It provides the speed of C and C++, but at the same time provides the safety of memory management. Rust is blazingly fast and memory efficient. No runtime or garbage collector. It can power performance critical services services, run on embedded devices, and easily integrate with other languages. Now the next one is Swift. Swift is a powerful intuitive programming language for iOS, iPadOS, macOS, tvOS, and watchOS. So yeah, anything related to Apple, Swift is the language you want to use. All right, so the NSA wants developers to no longer use C or C++ and to consider using a memory safe language. All right, great. So now that means that those billions of lines of code written in C or C++ now have to be converted to a memory safe language. Yeah, that's easy, right? Well, that definitely means that there's going to be a lot of jobs for developers moving forward, and you may want to consider learning one of these memory safe languages. You're probably going to see some big companies start to convert their existing code base and start utilizing a new programming language. But that's easier said than done because again, it's billions of lines of code in some of these large scale applications. And if programmers have been using a particular language for a long time, and now they're being asked to convert their code to a new language, there's gonna be a learning curve. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of testing to make sure that the same features and functionality can be recreated with the new language. All right, so what does a big company do? Do they hire a brand new crop of developers that have experience with one of the memory safe languages? Or do they have their current developers learn a new language? Well, it's probably gonna be a combination of the two. All right, so the takeaway from all this is if the NSA, the National Security Agency, is asking programmers and companies to stop using 
using a particular set of languages, there's got to be good reason. And obviously the NSA has a wealth of experience when it comes to security issues. And they also cite the fact that Microsoft and Google have pointed out in two different papers that 70% of the exploits have been due to memory issues. Now, if you look on some of the top 10 lists, some of the websites that identify the most important or most widely used languages, C and C++ are right up there. So if you're just thinking about learning to code, then you may want to consider using a memory safe language. If you've already learned how to code with C and C++, you may want to start considering learning one of these other languages. Either way, if it's coming from the NSA, it's most likely advice you're going to want to listen to. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.